Turquoise do-rag is my favorite color right here. You want to take the strings, cross them over in the back, bring them to the front, hold one string with your mouth while you pull the flap down so it can be snug and not come off. Let go of that string. And you want to bring both strings to either your left side or your right side, whichever side you want to tie it on. And you just want to tie it like a shoelace. If you don't know how to tie your shoelace, go learn how to tie your shoelace and come back to this video. Make the knots, go through the loop. This is the hardest part of the method, so if you get this on the first try, kudos to you. It took me a while to get this. But after you do that, you want to roll the back of your do-rag so that way it's not flappy and everything. You want to roll it up, roll, 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 and you want to tie that with like a double knot or something. Not like a shoelace, but like, you know. Exactly what I'm doing right here. And after you do that, you tuck it in, come back to the front, make sure you straighten out your strings, make sure everything is nice and neat. You don't want no raggedy do rag, especially if you're rocking two six king wave. Now, right here, if the strings are in the way, you could tuck them in on the side just like I did right there. And that is how you tie a do rag like Ski Master Slump God. Quick disclaimer do not tie a do rag like this if you actually want to get 360 waves. This method is just for style. If you tie a do rag like this and you go to sleep with it, it's going to fall off. If you want to get 360 